Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alex Zito. And I'm Robert Neidefer. And we are the developers for the WTF and the soon to be introduced WTF SDK. Um, Robert, why don't you tell us a little bit about a WTF project? Well, the WTF project was a, a WoW-inspired side-scrolling RPG adventure knockoff that uh, Alex and I did in Flash. <clears throat> Basically, the idea was this was an art project, and we wanted to kind of introduce some historical characters into an environment that was very WoW-styled, um, have a lot of quests, a lot of ability to interact with the environment, but do some weird stuff with it. Yeah, so, um, and obviously the SDK is the tool that you can use to sort of create your own version or even kind of your unique adventures based on the same engine. So sort of pictures worth a thousand words, I'm just gonna quickly step into the game to show you how the game plays. So you kind of start with this parallax scrolling environment. Um, you can kind of see that nice weather effect going in the background there you know, quickly. So a lot of the interface is similar to WoW if you play the game. Um, so here I am picking up a quest. So I also have these um, abilities that I can sort of equip. There's the character panel. Um, so I, you know, I can run, jump, melee attack. You can also kind of use spells. A bit low to hit that pig over there. So, but that's basically it. Um, so the tutorials onward from this point is going to be sort of the sort of a, a tutorial to teach you how to use the editor itself to create you know, um, maps and characters and, and players just like the ones that you see here. First of all, uh, in order to get to run the SDK, you need Adobe Air. Uh, you do not need the actual Adobe Flash program, but you do need Air. Um, now, Air is a free download, so um, all you need to do is go to the Adobe website, look up Air, or you know, get adobe.com slash Air, which is the current web page. Download it, um, run through the installation instructions. If you have any problems, you can always find help at the Adobe website. Um, second of all, you need to find a copy of the WTF SDK program, and that's available um, here at our website at alopus.net. So if you click on the Bang SDK link, uh, it will basically bring you to our with the SDK download page, which would be up very soon. So, once you have Air installed um, and you download the file from our download page, you'd get this thing called, you know, WTFSDK.air file. Um, what you want to do is uh, open it like any executable. If you have Air installed, it will ask you if you want to install this program. Um, since we're at the university and we're not making a profit, we don't have thousands of dollars to pay for digitally signing the software. So that's why you get the little <clears throat> warning up front. Do you want to trust this application? So assuming you trust us, you would just go ahead and click install. And believe me, it'd be a lot easier <laughs> to uh, take your money or <laughs> spread malicious software uh, without spending a couple years building a <laughs> fully fledged software development kit for game stuff. So, so yeah. Um... Once you have it installed, if you select all the, the default options, you have the icon and it will start the program automatically. So I'm just going to jump right in and create a new project. I'm going to call this a tutorial project. And what you want to do to set up a new project is to create um, a folder specifically for it. So usually um, it will the, the program will automatically point to like your documents folder, your desktop in this case. And what I want to do is create a completely new folder, name it. I'm going to call it tutorial project also. And then just hit OK once you have everything selected. It's going to take a couple of seconds to create the project. 
Um, so now that's the so basically everything that we size in this project folder um, is going to be part of your game project, which means that um, if you want to say you know pack up this project, send it to your friends to play, you will need to have everything inside this folder in order for the game to work. Um, so currently the game's kind of barren. You try to start the game, you know, has some background music, some graphics, but you know, nothing really to look at. Let me close that really quickly. So, as you've seen, uh, I used the HTML file to basically launch the project. That's what you're going to use to test the project most of the time. And when you distribute the project, that's, you know, you probably want to include that as well. So, I'm going to take a quick look inside. Make the icons bigger. So um, there's a couple of. Oh, let me go back up one. So basically, inside the project folder, you also find a resource folder. Now, um, it's sort of a requirement that everything that you create that you use in the project be residing inside this resource folder, or um, you would find some weird things going on. Uh, Technically, you, you won't be able to import any image or sound that's outside of this resource folder. Um, so it's kind of relative to the location of the project itself, but you have to make sure that everything is inside here, this uh, slash rsc folder. So that's basically how you would install and set up the WTF SDK program, as well as how you would um, create and start working on your very own game project. So I'll be taking over from this point on and uh, I'll basically run through the editor step by step and introduce you to the individual editor components and in the same time we'll try to basically create a working game project from start to finish.